Hey look, God did give me the power to upload another video. How nice of him. Before I start, I gotta apologize and curse myself for using Filmora Demo Creator that just pasted the watermark on my entire recording. So please, for the love of God, bear through this recording with me. I swear I'm not going to use this software ever again. There is OBS. I don't know why I used it. I'm sorry. But I'm not recording this all over again, so please. The Pedestrian is a game about this flash of ink which takes someone's body and then starts traveling throughout the signs. The game is designed in a way that every sign or group of signs is a single level. It's designed in a way to make you go okay so like I have to connect these doors so that I can unlock the signs. As the game progresses the pedestrian goes through different kinds of puzzles with different ideas. There's a ladder, now there's multiple doors that means you can connect one piece of sign to two different signs and then now there's livers and buttons that connect through the puzzle so a liver will be in a different piece of puzzle but the gate for the liver or the machine for the liver or the button would be on another piece of puzzle the game builds on this idea and slowly yet gradually gets you to solve more complicated puzzles the music in this game is absolutely gorgeous. Fits that natural and uh, exciting vibe of exploration that game dev wants us to experience with that little blob of ink which is going through all of these signs and experiencing the world. And on the topic of experiencing the world, the world design is actually 3D. It moves in a 3D environment. It moves forward, backwards, up, down, right, left in a 3D environment. Which is now, when I come to think of it, is I think the USP for this game that the puzzles of these games are 2D, but the environment in which it is set is 3D. And with that, the sound effects just make it more real. The sound effects are absolutely pinpoint to the mood environment around the puzzles like the machines, the doors, the railway. The only hiccup that comes in this game is the fact that there's no sense of story or progression. We don't really know where we're going, we don't really know the origins of this man or this pile of ink, where it came from. Maybe some little signs with other text on the wall explaining you what's happening or some narrator telling you the story of the progression would help but again it's just a minor hiccup, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, with that said, go by the pedestrian, the demo is for free, the base game is for $8 and the deluxe edition is for $11.29 which is like very cheap. Go play this game. Bye, goodbye. Go ahead, just click off this video like any other random person does. Don't subscribe to my channel.